Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and say salutations to you, brothers, that's pushing his word uh, in sincerity and in truth. Uh, this is just going to be basically going through a couple articles. And I'm not sure what I'm going to call this lesson, but maybe that we are we're definitely in those times. We are definitely in those times. And the times I'm talking about is the times of prophecy uh, being manifested and fulfilled and the times of the end. All right. Because I've been in this uh, truth uh, 10 plus 10 plus years or whatever. And from the time I came in till the times we're living in now, uh, <laughs> it, these times is are unbelievable, man. All right. The amount of things happening. And at the and at the pace that they're happening is uh, unlike any other time that I've uh, lived uh, since being in this truth. All right, you know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is really uh, uh, working right now, <laughs> working fast. All right, and that's and that's a good thing. Okay, but uh, when I first came in, man, you know we get excited over. This will happen or that will happen as far as something uh, overseas or this country said they're going to do this. And we'll be excited about that. But it's so much news coming out uh, now that you really can't even keep up with it. You know, uh, back back in the day, we'd be on the street corners, man. And, you know, we people look at us as though we just some conspiracy nuts. <laughs> but right now... <laughs> Everything is 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 taking place, and it's out in the open. And we were saying these things ten plus years ago. We were talking about the martial law, the mark of the beast, the collapse of the dollar, uh, you know, uh, riots, famine, and all these things are <laughs> are on the horizon, and looking like they're right around the corner. So. Uh, most most definitely you gotta give all praises and glory to Yahweh Yahweh Shah for that. Okay? Because the ones that are awake, uh, we know what time it is. Right? Now I go to this app every once in a while. This is a Drudge Report app, and they have a bunch of stories. And they're usually uh right leaning or whatever, but they still have a bunch of stories. And and the first one is about Americans unhappiest they've been in fifty years. People are through out here, man. <laughs> I'm at my job the other day, and, uh, you know, this elderly Edomite lady actually gets on the elevator with me, trying to make conversation, and this, I'm like, what the hell? And she and she uh, asked me, like, how long do you think they're going to make us wear these masks? And <laughs> I could see, you know, I was looking at her, I could see her, uh, you know, expecting me to give some kind of, you know, uh, comforting answer and i was like hey, you're gonna be wearing these masks for a very long time <laughs> you know it was just uh you know being blunt this stuff is not going going away man these elites are making their power move man they're making their power move and they're playing for keeps they're instituting uh long and lasting effects to uh your so-called way of life your so-called rights and it's uh, right before everybody's eyes, man. And then it's one about the dollar crash, virtually inevitable. All right. And I'm, uh, let me see if I can get that one. And this is from CNBC. It says a dollar crash is virtually inevitable. Asia expert Stephen Roach uh, warns. Right. So we've been talking about this forever because they got to get rid of this. This dollar, because the mark of the beast is a major prophecy, and it has to uh, take place, right? So that physical money, that dollar, uh, uh, has to be done away with, all right, according to uh, uh, Bible prophecy. And uh, as I always talk about, the first stimulus, when they sent out that stimulus and everybody got 1200 bucks or whatever, the first, before they had to go redraft it, a virtual dollar was in that bill. A digital dollar was in that bill. So it's 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 all in the workings, man. 
You know, what, what you're witnessing, what people are witnessing is a transition period of the old way of life is, is basically falling in kind of a slow motion, but still, 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 nonetheless, it's still falling. Okay. This year being a 20, uh, 2020 year of prophecy deemed by the apostle uh, T Tahar is, is 100 percent uh, accurate. But let me let me get some scriptures. Let's go to the book of uh, Proverbs 29 and 2. It says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked uh, bear rule, the people mourn. Right. So uh, going back to that first article I was talking about, the poll, Americans are the unhappiest they've been in 50 years. Right. So people out here, man, is uh, <laughs> straight up through. They're, they're, they're mourning. They're upset. They're on edge. They're ready to snap. Okay? They're facing uh, tribulations that they, they haven't faced before. And they're seeing, uh, you know, the fruits, the real fruits of this country, man. All right? The chickens are really coming home to uh, roost. And it's, and it's falling and failing in, in every way imaginable, this place. Because Mystery Babylon, a.k.a. America, uh, must, go, must go down. All right? It says it's been a rough year for American psyche. Folks in the U.S. are more unhappy today than they've been in nearly 50 years. This bold yet unsurprising conclusion comes from a COVID response tracking study conducted by NORC at the University of Chicago. It finds that just 14% of Americans, adults, say they're tr uh, that they're very happy, down from 31%. Who said the same in uh, 2018, right? So the shit was all good just a, a couple years ago, man. All right, that's how fast things are are moving, man. You know, things are moving at, at lightning speed right now, and the Lord is laying it on thick with every kind of tribulation, and we really haven't seen anything yet until they they really push this. Uh, contact tracing and they push the second wave that's when you're going to see the uh, big guns uh, really brought in all right along with this dollar crashing it says uh, it finds that 14 percent of american adults said they're very happy down from 31 percent who said the same in 2018 that year 23 percent said they'd often or sometimes felt isolated in recent weeks now 50 percent say that right people are out here looking crazy as hell man <laughs> crazy as hell that's why in these times brothers we got to be circumspect all right and stay in the spirit man and let yahweh yahweh shah truly be our guide man and use these scriptures uh as, as much as possible right now let's go back to uh some more precepts let's go to the book of uh second Ezra, chapter 9 verse 5 it says, for for like is all things that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. All right? <laughs> the end is manifest. So, like I said, uh, 10 years ago, man, when, when I first uh, started listening to the videos and came out, and there were only certain, uh, you know, You'll see certain familiar faces of brothers out there that was that been out there for a while, namely uh, brothers out there in uh, uh, Dallas, the Dallas camp, brothers in Boston, of course, the originators and brothers out there in New York, and the elders and apostles out there in New York. Uh, these are just some of the camps I remember off the top of my head, the brother in Carolina, you know, so on and so forth, but... You know, it's good to still see those brothers out there uh, pushing his word because we've we've all got stories and we all have experience of experiences of seeing men come in and, and go out in this thing, man, in great volume. Man that you would have thought that uh, uh, this, I know this guy's a man of the Lord is, is no longer pushing his word, is no longer in his truth. All right. Went back in the world. So, you know, it, it, you really got to be uh, uh, grateful and thankful that the Lord is is still allowing uh, you to be a part of this thing, man. Because this place is is done, man. It's absolutely finished. All that's left is just for the uh, last remaining prophecies to, to to play out. All right. It says, even so, the time times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder, 
and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. So it's nothing but signs, man. All right. All these signs, all these this news. It's just prophecy pl uh, playing out. Here's another one. Trump wants another one trillion in spending cash for 5G expansion. That 5G is very uh, important for this market of beasts. You got to have the uh, the speed and the bandwidth with the internet to get this thing online. This thing must be fulfilled. Okay. It says uh, you got viruses, hotspot, West Virginia churches. See cases surging in Alabama. South Carolina, Oklahoma, uh, death toll in U.S. nursing, long-term care facilities, tops 50,000. And there's one talking about casinos say goodbye to cash. This is from CNBC. Coronavirus that sway regulators to allow casinos to say goodbye to cash. So this is just the, the start, man. This is all a segue for the market of beef. This is all a segue uh, eventually uh, to lead into the World War Three, a thermonuclear war, which is spoken about in the scriptures, right? And we've we've covered those scriptures be, uh, before. You know, the heavens rolling together like a scroll, that mushroom cloud. It's all <laughs> the picture is all painted throughout the scriptures. If if you understand it, uh, let's keep going. Let's go to the book of. Uh, sorry if I'm all over the place. It's more just like I said, I'm bouncing around through different articles. Let's, let's go to the book of Habakkuk two. Uh, and two, it says, the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. Right. So certain brothers, that man, been running for a long time, man. And the elders and apostles, man, they've been running probably to them. that seemed like forever. And to finally uh, see uh, these things uh, take fruition, take effect, manifest, play out. It's a, we are in the very exciting times. All right. Exciting times. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. So prophecy is speaking, man. The visions are speaking. Right? Right on time, right? The visions are speaking. We are truly uh, at the end of this thing, man. You know, when this first thing, when the coronavirus first popped off, brothers were saying, "We look. this is looking like this is maybe it. Hopefully this is it. But uh, the longer we're in this thing, man, this so-called lockdown and this so-called pandemic and 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 <laughs> and the rhetoric that Esau is pushing, because you can tell a lot by Esau's rhetoric, his uh, buzzwords. OK. How he paints uh, pictures and how he wants uh, the future to be. He's, he, he's going for broke right now, man. He's, he's putting everything out in the open, man. People talking about the dollar in mainstream uh, news, talking about the dollar crash, getting rid of that, going digital. All right. You had Jerome Powell of, of, of uh, Federal Reserve, the finance chair guy. He was he, he said, man, millions of jobs are not coming back. Honestly, blunt and honestly. So this is a transition period. Whereas this is going to be set to get people dependent, get people angry. Basically a chaos period. So they can bring in what? Their order. Their new world order. Setting up for the, uh, you know, this end, this end beast system. So you can understand. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It shall not tarry. And it's, and it's flying, man. It's coming, man. You know? Like a, a you know, speeding train down the tracks. It's, it's, it's here, man. Right? It's here. New outbreak at China market. Beijing expand lockdowns. Residents rounded up. More and more, man. Police detain armed militia members after man is shot at Albuquerque demonstration. Statue battle turns bloody. Cops quitting across country. <laughs> it's, it's, it's getting ugly out here man so stay prayed up brothers <clears throat> stay prayed up man stay prayed up man 
you know, Kellogg slam for three white boys on Rice Krispie. So it's everything is 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 tensions. You got some racial tensions. You got these patriotic uh, militia tensions because they know their country going down. You got all these things uh, coming into play. Cops quitting. Crime is going to skyrocket. People are going to have less and less. And when people uh, got nothing to lose, as Gerald Salente say, uh, they, they lose it. But that's pretty much, uh, pretty much it, man. All right. 